you believe in aliens? I know, I know that's such a weird question to ask, but do you think we're alone? I mean, come on guys, I know you've thought about it at least once or twice. We certainly have. Well, if you do think we're alone, think again, because Agents Mulder and Scully have finally found the truth. It took them long enough. Do you believe in the existence of extraterrestrials? There is no predator to fight it back. Danny Glover is not coming to save the day. But there's really nothing that can challenge this thing when you think about it. It's in a league of its own. And its technology is truly a game changer. I think it recreated the rules, if you will. It doesn't look like anything we've ever seen before. It's strange. It looks foreign, as John said. But not like a Ferrari or Lamborghini. It doesn't have that Italian refinement with all of the beautiful accoutrements. But again, it's from out of this world. And so what do you expect? And it certainly doesn't operate like anything we've ever seen before. But thinking about Area 51 and all the alien stuff and Roswell, have you ever wondered what was really out there? Well, let's just sort of say we found out. We got our hands on a little piece of prize. And it is none other than Lago Arms Alien Pistol. This thing represents a quantum leap forward in semi-automatic pistol design. It's a specimen of evolutionary proportions freed from the confines of obsolete locking mechanisms and conventional trigger designs. You know, that boring old stuff that we're so used to here on Earth. The alien ushers in the dawn of a new breed, the first of its kind. It was designed by Jan Lekansky, founder of Lago Arms, and most of you have probably never heard of Jan before, and don't worry, you're not alone. Nor did we until we did some research. You see, Jan is not necessarily a stranger to the world of firearms. He actually designed a gun before, a submachine gun that caught the eye of none other than CZ. It impressed CZ so much that they bought the rights to his design and deemed it the Scorpion, the CZ Scorpion, which is a pretty cool thing, but that's another review for another day. Maybe we'll have to get our hands on one. The Alien comprises a gas piston blowback system. It features a 4.8 inch fixed barrel with the lowest bore axis on any pistol in the universe. And yes, I do mean the universe, not the multiverse for you Marvel fans out there, because I know how far this thing could go, but that's a conversation for another day. The alien has slides that reciprocate on the side while the top part of the slide stays stationary and it can be fitted with either iron sights or red dot. The gun is incredible. When you look at it, you're confused wondering how in the world does that thing actually function? But it just works. It shoots insanely flat and it just stays on target. Whether you're running, moving side to side or moving backwards, you're always going to be able to find your target and take a well-aimed shot. That's what makes this thing so incredible. It's almost like a UFO, if you will. Maybe you saw something in the night sky. Maybe you didn't. Whatever that thing is, it is incredible. That would be your first impression because it was certainly ours. It is unique, but it certainly is not cheap. There's two different packages that it comes with. The performance package, which has an MSRP of $4,000, and the full package with an MSRP of $5,000. In our case though, we were lucky. Thanks to my friend Mark, we were lucky enough to experience the signature edition and the signature edition it is. It's a limited run of Largo Arms Alien Pistol that was developed for Lancer Systems exclusively. It was only limited to 500 units and Mark happened to be one of those lucky guys who made that deposit and you can still get your hands on one if you're willing to spend $13,000. I don't know about you, but I don't think it's worth 13 grand. It's custom engraved with designer Jan Lekansky's signature and through agreement with Lancer Systems, there will never be another Largo Arms firearm that will bear his name. It was originally introduced to the US market in January of 2020, and it sold out in just three weeks. Three weeks, guys. So no wonder you don't see these things anywhere. And the kit is pretty cool. It comes, of course, included with the Largo Arms pistol, a custom engraved frame with designer Jan Lekansky's signature, a custom engraved signature edition slide, three 17 round magazines, so you'll always have enough to shoot, standard fiber out the iron sight top rail, as well as the red dot top rail with Largo red dot sight. So they created their own red dot, not surprised, of course. And it really includes a nice mag well. I mean, it's really good to do those mag changes, get that practice and speed up. It comes with a custom holster, which, uh, I don't know. I wasn't a big fan of it. 
could have been better so you'll probably discard that to the bin with all of your other holsters. It comes with cleaning supplies, a custom hard case designed by Jan, as well as a toolkit which is useful for sighting your red dot. It pretty much comes with everything you'll need. And considering the price tag, it should. Now let's get into some of the specs. The length is 8.2 inches overall, the width is 1.1 inches, the height is 5.8 inches, the barrel length is 4.8 inches, and it weighs only 2.2 pounds. And when you feel how sturdy that thing is, I mean, it's well made. You would be surprised, but it's light, and that's a good thing. The trigger pull is adjustable, but Largo recommends that you leave that to them, and we would probably agree with them. It's a pretty complicated pistol, so send it back if you end up getting your hands on one and you want your trigger change. The bore axis is 1.7 millimeters below the line of grip axis, which again, is no surprise why it's the lowest bore axis on any pistol in the universe. It makes sense. The barrel, it just sits so low. You've never seen anything like it. And it's nothing we expected. And that's a good thing. It's different. Looking at the cuts on the slide, they're so aggressive, but they're almost like triangular. They're weird, like the spikes on the back of an alien's head and back and tail. Not like the typical guns we're used to. Watching the slides move on the side, it almost redefines the way you would have to think about the way a pistol operates. You know, so, so Chris is behind the camera. You guys have never seen Chris before, but we've done a lot of work with Chris in the past, especially the early, early days <laughs> of Guns Out. Um, and Chris was said something I thought was interesting. Mm -hmm. Chris, when we, we were talking about ARs, Chris said, just imagine, guys, 20... 5, 30 years ago, oh, right, no one right. would have ever imagined ARs being sold without irons. Mm -hmm. That is the case now. Pistols are now being made and sold without front and rear sights. And now you have this. Yeah, sure. I which is be. ahead of itself, yeah. ahead of its time. And, and yeah. I would argue in about five or ten years, this may become the norm, guys. Oh, oh! I don't even think it's going to take that long, to be honest with you, Sherm. Because think about it right now. The Max Michelle doesn't come with the front sight. You, you see the, the Sand Viper doesn't come with a front sight. So nope. they're already moving towards optics only, period. Mm -hmm. That's the first step. But this, the way the slide is set up, this is an exotic pistol, yeah. period. It's exotic. Yeah. And I mean, Sherm, you're in exotic cars. You already know when yes. you lifted the hood on this thing, I mean, it, it looked, the internals were <laughs> impressive. Th th this, was not, um, th this was not a... A Dodge Charger Hellcat. Yeah, yeah. Listen, I saw what was inside of there. I was like, yeah, I don't, I don't even know. I'm, I'm this a spray. A, I'm gonna clean that with this some spray be a cleaner. Egg. Oh yeah. Oh because man, look. They are just so. They're built differently. Yeah, and and the thing is, is when you look inside of the of a hood of an exotic car, right? You see the engine. It's like everything is really nice and compact in there, mm -hmm. really streamlined, and you don't see all these different mechanisms, really, right? That's what that reminded me of. Yeah. Cause it was very, it was just like, bam, it was sitting in there very snug in a different orientation than you normally see in a pistol. So it's exotic, man, it's, it's nice. And the recoil is unique. It is out of this world. The gun doesn't really rise. There's really no muzzle rise to be quite honest. I mean, it's so minimal, you can barely notice it. But the way the pistol pushes back and downward in your hand feels weird. It takes some adjustments to get used to, to be quite frank, because again, it's an operating system that none of us have ever seen before. The recoil, is it's, it's, it's like someone's pushing against your hand. Yeah. I mean, I just shot super fast, and I would probably say I had maybe two or three misses off the steel. Mm -hmm. I mean, because it is so freaking flat. I'm, I, still, I'm still trying to wrap my brain around it. I mean, I, I'm, this is an honest reaction. I'm not really exaggerating it. It's, it's hard to articulate uh, the, the difference in the way that feels it, it really is and you can see that merely by looking at it and once you shoot it it's very obvious but it also has some pretty significant shortcomings we wanted to love every aspect of the alien and while we love how unique and weird the design looks as john stated it looks like a gun from halo i mean this looks like the pistol from halo it does. i mean it really does i mean they they could not have named this anything other than Alien, guys. This was the perfect name for this pistol. Um, and like Sherman said, this is, he says it's the future. I say it's the near future. I really do. Because, I mean, well, it, makes next, so, it makes so much sense. Well, the next question is, where is Predator? <laughs> I don't know, but we ready for him with this thing, though. It shoots really well. The trigger is great. 
but it gets so hot. It gets so hot in your hands that one YouTuber said that he tested how hot it actually got and it was up to 150 degrees. I gotta say this for the camera. This thing gets hot. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. while there's so much to love about this pistol, yeah, that this is a flaw. I'm sorry. This is how you know it's not from Earth. Right. Because right. Humans, right. Because you need alien hands. You need to alien hands to shoot this thing. <laughs> it's like a first or second degree burn. So while we loved it, I don't know if we could recommend it because, to be quite honest, it's really not ready for prime time. With any type of new technology, you want to test it and refine it. And so maybe the alien should go back to the laboratory. Maybe the mad scientists should work on it a bit more before they sell it to the mass public. Or maybe they refined it. I mean, we did shoot an email to Lancer and hopefully they'll reply, but if they don't, Lancer, if you're listening, ET, if you're out there, give us a call. We'd like to do a, an appropriate and proper review on this pistol. And if Lancer's figured out a way to mitigate how hot the gun gets, then oh my god, this thing truly is amazing. But if they haven't, they should go back to the lab, do some more experimenting, and figure out how to make this thing work the way it should. Nevertheless, they are ahead of their time. And maybe in 5 or 10 years, other manufacturers will follow suit with a similar design. It is certainly one that is a step above all the rest. But then again, that's why they called it the alien. So you're watching this content because, John, clearly you believe in the Second Amendment, which is why we want you guys to support Gun Owners of America by going to gunowners.org. Please do. Gun Owners of America is in the trenches on every 2A argument, every 2A fight that's being had out there today, and God knows there's a lot of them. So please, go to gunowners.org and join.